thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So, right guys, this is actually a passerby battle I had this day, and, you know, he really, really, really <laughs> was a good battler. I was very impressed because, you know, going into passerby battles, I usually just do them because I want to try out my team, because usually they are like OU stuff, and I just want to, you know, have a challenge, really. And plus, I want to see how well my team uh, really works in that environment. Uh, but this guy, you know, he's a mixed tier. I mean, he's using two UU pokes and the rest is lesser tiers. So I was actually really impressed there because I didn't really know what to expect. You know, just by the, the setup that his team is, I knew that he was a good battler or at least was somebody that knew what he was doing. So I had no idea what I was up against. Uh, I did expect him to start off for Tyrant here just to get out of Stealth Rocks because that is usually what it does. Uh, being somewhat of a faulty sweep, really. I myself using the last stream compound battle I had, so that this is not my real uh, weak, weekly team, but it's some put together team, really. Octillery is at least a part of it. And uh, well, this team missing a defensive core, and it's really gonna show here that I can't take too much damage. Gramble is the only one, you know, with Intimidate. Uh, but other than that, they are really, really like um, fragile. So anyway, I'm gonna start with Octillery here, just to, you know, get off a Thunder Wave really, to try to stop the Rampage here. So anyway, let's go. So anyway, I did predict right, he's going to start off with a Tyrant, and uh, I think he thinks I got the Ice Beam. So he actually decided to switch out here, which is great, because he got the Ludicolo. I have really nothing to, you know, go up against it besides my Swallow with the Air Slash, obviously. But that's about it. So, yeah, I get the fun away off, that is really great, and go into my Swallow. I know he's gonna switch out here first turn, he do expect the Brave Bird, obviously. But I'm actually gonna do go for my Spec Boom Burst here, he's gonna switch out to his Tyrant. Really good prediction on his side, or rather, that was pretty much the only thing he could do, if, you know, take some damage, really. So, well, he gets the Leeches on, I know a Rock Slide is coming my way. And the Gramble can really wall this guy somewhat well because the Intimidate in combination with, you know, being somewhat defensive. Plus, I have the Fairy Typing, which is great for dealing with um, these type of pokes. So I know he's gonna switch out to the Weezing, so I'm just going for a Thunder Wave, getting two pokes here. And <laughs> really, really, like, narrow down to not being able to do too much. So I know this could be the will wisp set, so I'm just gonna switch into my... Um, switch into my camera, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I know I wall this guy rather well, so I'm just gonna go for Eruption. Uh, I kinda wanna lure in the, um, his uh, Houndoom. So at this point I was thinking he might wanna sack that one, so I'm going for a Lava Plume. Still hoping for him bringing the Houndoom. So there he is, finally, because I knew he could, thought he could predict me with, an, uh, <laughs> with the Flash Fire. But obviously I'm Assault Vested, and I won't take too much damage from my Dark Pulse. And I'm just gonna finish him off with an Earth Power. So in the beginning here, I was in a really good position. I got predictions down. You know, he had no way of actually trying to take me on. Um, I still I didn't want to sack my camera just yet. So I'm going back to my Snappy here. And, uh, you know, getting Team Blade off is really great. Sure, but he gets off the Stealth Rocks. And it's gonna prove to be somewhat of a hassle this game. Because I don't have any spinner on my team. So anyway, he's gonna switch into his Weezing here. I just went for the play rough because I knew uh, probably the <laughs> Weezing was the safest switching for him. And he will outpredict me here actually, thinking that I switch into my camera, knowing that it's actually pretty much walling this um, Weezing rather well there. So he's gonna switch into his Ludicolo. And the sad part is, I can't really do too much against the Ludicolo. I couldn't switch into my Alyssa, the Sceptile, but in the end it wouldn't have mattered. So I just went for some damage, and seeing that damage, I pretty much knew that, you know what? This guy could be specially defensive, but I need to do as much damage as possible. So that means I'm gonna bring in to my Swallow and really try to just thread him out, which is gonna work here. It's gonna go into his Tyrant, obviously. And the Boom Burst will prove enough to actually two-shot this guy from this range. So I'm, I'm in a good position. I, I really am. So at this point, I would just, you know, let's do it. Let's take him out. And, well, that really worked in my favor. And he's gonna bring in Martinez. You know, I should have switched out. I decided not to do as much damage as possible. And well, now I have nothing for this guy, right? So I was thinking, you know what? At least I can bring a poke that could deal with this rather well, and that is going to be my Electivire. I tried to one-shot it. I was sadly mistaken. Of course, it's gonna switch out to his Weezing at this point. And I'm not able to do anything here. And I know the Will-O-Wisp is coming, 
uh, my character is gone, which means my core for dealing with most of his guys is gone. So, god damn it, really. So I'm he's obviously getting off the will o wisp there. Uh, I didn't want to risk it, you know, going for a flamethrower at this point. I should have done it because he's obviously going to go for a safe switching uh, against this skull that I'm going for. But since my camera was gone, I was kind of, you know, starting to play it safe. That is not how you're supposed to do because that will just bring, well, unfortunate for you, really. So at this point, I thought that, you know, could go for a Giga Drain. I'm not in range of 2 hit KOing it. And uh, I just need to bring something that could stop it. And he shows me and has to synthesize, and god damn it! That means that my swallow died in vain, and this thing is back on track, and I have nothing to hit it super effectively. So he will switch out here to his Weezing, and look at this beauty! Mm, almost takes it out there, so now it is in a range where it can take another of those hits. And well, he's gonna decide to switch out here. And this Leaf Storm will not do too much in the little colo, and now I definitely can't kill it, obviously. So I have to switch out, and that really sucks. I'm going to switch into my Electivire. Pretty much taking the lead seed, whatever is coming my way. He's going for a Skull there, and well, he gets the burn. That rendered my Electivire pretty much useless. It doesn't matter if this guy is Assault Vested, it's going to die eventually. And I'm just gonna go for Thunder Punch. I decided to actually try to sack it, but he's going for Leech it, and I just thought, you know what? This is a matchup I won't win, and it's gonna suck for me if I just keep staying in here. I'm actually losing more damage than I'm given. So at this point, I was like, you know, he will make a great death bar for Crobat. So here is a little stall game here. He'll synthesize, I'll go for Energy Ball. Uh, he pretty much does this until I get the defensive drop, which forces him to switch out here. So, yeah. So it's still in living <laughs> in, in a way that he can't still live. So that really sucks for me. So. I still need to, you know, be around, you know, the Buffalo come here, Buffalo, the Tauros. I don't know if this thing is scarfed, so I'm going to go to my Grand Bull here and, you know, get an Intimidate off. He will go for a return here, which does around 17 damage, which means I can take three of those hits without really need to worry about it. Uh, I actually went for a Thunder Wave here, but he predicted that Rod Well actually going back to his Ludicolo, which could have actually walled my player off Rod Well too. So, great play on his part. I knew that, you know, I really have to give it my all now, I can't stay around, you know, doing the usual stuff. I'm actually gonna have this matchup, and I need to go for a Leaf Storm. I know Leaf Storm will do well over 70%, and then if he decides to stay in, then sure, why not? So Leaf Storm coming here, and well, that is some beautiful damage, really. So he's going for a Skull, it doesn't do enough. Um, though I still was thinking that I, I can probably only switch in one more time with uh, my Sceptile at best. So, yeah, like I said, there, uh, the Martinez is finally gone. And here is the Crobat. And, well, I did fear this guy having, obviously, the Roost. But I couldn't stay in with a Leaf Storm anyway, considering that I don't have any special attack left. So I'm gonna leave my Lexavire here as fodder. There is no means for me to actually even remotely try to do anything with it. So I'm going into my Kesha, the Auxiliary. Uh, I am special or defensive, so I'm hoping to survive this Brave Bird, and well, let's see, oh yes, I do, and I get the Thunder Wave off, and that is huge, because the leftovers in combination with the burn uh, will still keep me alive, just pretty much, I mean, wow, <laughs> it's so close for me dying, so I go for a Skull here, uh, he will settle with fully paralyzed, luckily for him that didn't matter, consider that the burn does more damage than I actually recover, um, but I'm still in a great position where my Sceptile can come in and pretty much, you know, just clear the field there. I was still somewhat unsure if the Taurus was Scarfed, so I still... Uh, I was in a range where I actually can switch it in one more time. Uh, but I was saying with 2 HP if I switch in to another Stealth Rocks. So I'm going to switch out, getting the Intimidate off on that Taurus. And I was thinking, you know what, the only way I can win is if this thing is paralyzed. In case it is Scarfed, because I am actually somewhat in trouble, obviously, still. So return is still in a range where he must go for another return to actually kill me. So he goes for a work up here, pretty much scaring me, because that means that he is in a range now where he can kill me with a one-shot. I get in the Thunder Wave off, and, well, god damn, we got the le <laughs> Lumberry. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> so he goes for another return, and I, you know, barely take that and go for another, <laughs> another Thunder Wave. So now at least my Scepter can come in and go for the Leech Storm and finish the job, right? 
Second for player up, just do some damage. That is almost 50%. He will sadly be fully paralyzed this turn. So I'm going for another player up here, and it doesn't kill him. And he's fully paralyzed still. So that means that my Grim <laughs> Gramble is actually able to pull this one off. So yeah, William, you know what? Thank you for this battle. It really came down to a very, very narrow matchup there. Uh, obviously, my Sceptile would have probably taken it out, obviously, but still. You know, you did the right predictions in the middle of the game there and really, really put me off guard there. Losing camera that early was a really huge misplay on my part and I should definitely have devalued it much better than I really did. And other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And everybody else, you know what? Take care, guys. Bye.